A rail car of mass 20,000 kilograms is moving at 5.0 meters per second towards a second rail car of mass 40,000 kilograms, moving in the same direction at 1.8 meters per second. They collide, and the first car is seen moving backwards at 1.5 meters per second. What must the final velocity of the second car be? We're given information about both the first and the second cars. First car has a mass of 20,000 kilograms and an initial velocity of 5.0 meters per second. It has a final velocity of negative 1.5 meters per second because it's seen going backwards after the collision. Second car has a mass of 40,000 kilograms and an initial velocity of 1.8 meters per second. We are to find the final velocity of the second car. Because of the law of conservation of momentum, the total momentum before must equal the total momentum after. We substitute P for MV for each of the following. First, we subtract M1 VF1 from both sides to isolate M2 VF2. Then, we divide both sides by M2 to finally isolate VF2, or the final velocity of the second car. Now we substitute our variables, narrow down the equation, get an answer, and now we check for significant figures, which is 1 as shown from the given. Now we have our final answer. Finally, we check our units, and it is indeed meters per second, or velocity.